Welcome back everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day, staying fit and having fun. On today's episode, we're gonna visit Mark Richards, who's a landscape photographer. Mark's gonna tell us about how the right side and the left side of the brain are important in capturing excellent photography. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So now we're inside Mark Richards' gallery here at Gallery Row in Worcester Village. And Mark's been a professional landscape photographer for seven years, and he makes paintings that look like art. So that look like a drawing, so it's really fun. And Mark, why did you decide to pursue passion in, uh, in uh, art? Well, for me, uh, working as an artist, uh, an entrepreneur, um, enables me to work uh, several skill sets from creating the art um, to the R&D, from the production and the shipping, but all the way also to the sales and the marketing. Um, by running your own gallery in a small business, you get to wear several hats and it's very gratifying. So Mark, when and how did you come to realize that landscape photography is your passion interest? Well, I worked for 10 years in engineering and uh, during that time, a lot of time spent indoors in laboratories and after a while I just felt like um, I wanted to do something more uh, physically active. And when I considered uh, being a landscape artist, uh, definitely uh, gives me a perfect excuse to go climb mountains and, and pursue all these beautiful uh, landscape scenery, uh, especially out here in British Columbia. Mark, tell us about how you found this piece. Um, what I like about this is the light is very challenging. Uh, in the forest you get a, a very um, large dynamic range of light, so from the deepest, darkest shadows to the brightest highlights, there's a lot of contrast, and sometimes that's more than what the camera can handle. This shot, I use multiple exposures, so I expose for shadows, midtones, and highlights, that's three different images, and I combine them together, and by working in a digital medium, you can do these things. Um, what happens is this ends up being what the human eye sees, and that's what a painter does. He tries to give you what the human eye sees, as opposed to what the camera sees. So in a piece this complex, it's really important to balance the left and right side of the brain, is it not the, the analytical side and the creative side? Both sides working together is what gives us the best um, you know, result. It's very powerful to use both hemispheres of the brain. Left side uh, you know, ensures that I have all the numbers and all the settings on my camera properly set to get the maximum quality. But the right side of the brain, uh, that's what, um, where I like to work um, fast and fluid. Uh, where I get into the flow and that means uh, when I set up the tripod it happens fairly quickly the camera goes on top and I'm looking through the viewfinder and composing and zooming and all that happens very quickly and that way I can work with the emotional side and that uh, tells me if the scene if it feels right and then when it feels right I take the shot. Uh, what are your favorite ways to incorporate recess? What I really like uh, the recess for is when I'm working in the studio um, it can be many hours of sitting down, you know, not moving much and uh, to go out for a nice mountain bike ride or a ski uh, gets the blood flowing and if I have a good workout, when I come back and I sit down, I feel especially uh, relaxed and then, um, yeah, the creativity and the ideas flow really nicely. So in the mountain biking and scrambling up mountains are your favorite activities, so what's one word that encapsulates the sensation of doing those activities? I would say it's uh, the word flow. Um, being in the right side of the brain, the emotional side, um, whether I'm going down a beautiful powder run or I'm mountain biking in a wonderful single track trail, um, to, uh, to be in the zone where all that matters is the 5-10 feet in front of you, uh, all the analytical things and other things that you think about kind of fade away and you're in the moment and it's a wonderful place to be. So Mark, thank you so much for bringing us into your gallery today. Hope the students had fun learning about the different layering of the exposures, bringing out the highs and the lows of a particular piece, and of course, how you incorporate recess into your life to use the analytical left side of the brain and incorporate the right side, creative side of the brain to create your wonderful pieces. So any parting thoughts for the students today? I would say in your life, uh, don't be afraid of uh, any changes and uh, remember that a true artist knows how to reinvent themselves.